Sean Casey, you're going to be out of position and you will be the host of MLB Tonight. This is so great. I've been waiting 11 years to host this show. Okay. But I really have no idea where to go. Isn't the producer supposed to tell me something about where to go? Yeah, Case, uh, we're going to go to an update <laughs> in Cleveland. All right. What's up, H? There we go. our producer. We're going out to Cleveland, guys. Get caught up in worrying about me. Okay, we got Bogarts with a 1-1 count. Here. Greg, take it away. Let me tell you what I really liked about that swing. You know, he, he didn't move the plate. He, he kind of stayed on it. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know about that slide, though. Oh, I don't know about that, Greg. Well, what happened Greg, there? Greg, what is wrong with your voice? I just, first off, I'm sitting in this seat <laughs> next to Sean. I feel like I need to sound like him. <laughs> and your seat is way up in the sky, Harold. I can't these smokes. Uh, uh, you guys are wow. talking. Great play right there by Devers. Hey, Kay, straighten up a little bit. You can undo your button. You unbutton your jacket over there and relax. All right, okay. thanks, H. All right. Six for producing. Up. Look at this, guys. We got the Indians 5-3 in the top six. Where are we going now? We're going to New York. All right, let's go to New York. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. All right, we're going to go do it. Go All to right. New York. Go to New York. Go pink. Go pink. Uh, uh, okay, Labor <laughs> Tours like this. Take it away, Greg. What All about right. that swing right there? Oh, my goodness. No. Uh, I, wait, who is that? Labor Tours, Labor Tours. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's the second of the night, Greg. He's got 13 home runs against the Orioles. Yes, yes, yes. that's right. Yeah. He's going to break Garrett's mark. He needs one more homer. One more to tie it. Matt, can to you give, give Greg another nugget, please? Two to break it. Uh, There's two more games left after, after tonight. Hey. All right, so there we got game two, guys, of this uh, doubleheader. 11-3, Yankees up on the All Orioles. Right, uh, Orioles Sean, can't do anything right. Keep talking. You're Aaron okay. Aaron Judge We're gonna go live to has Washington. 12 home runs case. all season. Okay, they're going Greg live to Washington talk. now, Greg. And Labor Torres is 13 like against the us. Orioles. Snapper brings us inside the park. And uh, go. we got Suzuki doing a thing. Um, yep. Kurt Suzuki. Kurt Suzuki. Having go ahead, good. Greg. Well, I can't see Kurt Suzuki because okay. I'm looking at Harold. Hey, what about these numbers he's got going on here? How about that? Hey, talk a little bit Come about on, the Sean, pinnacle. Come better. Okay, hey, you're right. I'm Greg, a better host. Hey, Greg, guys, listen. How big is this game? I tell you what, the, national, the Nationals are focused. really stepping up. They need this game. Cincinnati's got a lot of good young players. We've seen that with some of the things they've been doing. But this Nationals team really has stepped it up, Greg, hasn't they? They, they have. Uh, I, I do think they need to worry about the New York Mets. I think they need to worry about the New York Mets. Tell us why. Let me tell you, I don't think it's a set-in-stone thing the Washington Nationals are going to be in the wild card game. The New York Mets are surging, and they're not slowing down. Name a rotation of all the teams that are in the NL wild card mix that you like more, one through five, you like more than the Mets. I'm not naming one. No. Greg, in that seat, I think you agree with button, that. I agree with jacket, that, Greg. Please. Unbutton the jacket. Yeah, it's a little too high for you. All right, now you're looking fresh again. Mm -hmm. nice. Greg, what about the strength of schedule? The Mets have the sixth hardest schedule for the rest of the season. What do you think about that? I don't care. You know did Look at the rotation. The, I was going to say, do they have the pitching to do They held on to Wheeler. Wheeler looks like a Cy Young guy since the trade deadline. And he's been pretty good all year, swinging his stuff. Syndergaard's last couple have been awesome. DeGrom is DeGrom. Now you got Stroman out there doing So you're thinking their rotation is better than hey, the Nationals' Howie, rotation? Howie yeah. With, with Max Scherzer, Max Scherzer's not 100%. We don't how, know what we're getting. Howie good, Kendrick good walked point. out to pinch hit. Case, tell us what that does for the hitter, knowing that Kendrick is on deck. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird being here with the host. Um, where am I looking? Oh, I'm over here. It's a money yeah. single, man. Right there. Your hair looks even better. Boy, right? I am good looking. I didn't know. I was good. <laughs> hey, let me be Greg Amsinger real quick. Boy, my hair looks good tonight. Look at this pink tie I got going on. I'm Greg Amsinger. How we doing? No, seriously. Um, Robles, is, Robles is definitely one of the guys. This yeah, guy right go here. Go back man. to your camera the other way. Look sorry. Look that way and talk to I'm people. I'm sorry. No, okay. the, um, the, national, the future's bright for the Nationals, Greg, don't you think? With Robles, Soto. Just all the young guys they have. Trey Turner, he's back healthy. Is, is it safe to say that the Nationals are better without Harper? Ooh, Greg, getting controversial. Wow. Case, think about it. I would, think say, about I would it. say that uh, they're giving the reins <laughs> over, yes. I don't know. I think they might be. Would you trade right now for the rest of the year? Would you trade Bryce Harper for Juan Soto? See, Greg, no. <laughs> not in that chair, no, Greg. I can't get rid of Soto. Are you, are you, are you the, I'm the host. I'm sorry. I'm the host. I'm yeah, supposed to, uh, Greg, would you trade Soto for Harper? Thank you for asking me that. No My more. expert analysis, Ooh. no, I would hold on to Juan Soto. He's a better hitter right now than Bryce Harper. He's catching. What would you think of that right there? I don't know if you uh -huh. saw that, Greg, but Parr, I think he got a bad jump. No, I was looking at my combo on TV. I didn't did know it was going to pop like this. That, I'm sorry, Mr. Host. You see that gold glove catcher get that throw right there? He had a great jump, guys. 
That was a terrific throw, though. I got to tell you. Okay, here we go. Snapple brings us out again. 6-2 right, National. We're going to take his standings. National's Reds. Bottom let's six. Wild card standings. Keep oh, let's talking. go to the wild card standings here and see what's going on. Go. Look at that right there. Nationals, woo, there you go, Greg. They've got the Mets one game back. Nats, Carl. Checking on what? We kind, of felt, we kind of felt that the Washington Nationals were, okay, the Nats are back, and they've got the, the mm -hmm. big three in the rotation. Their lineup's young, full of studs. They're one of the wild card teams. Who will be okay, so the other and a wild card team? Case. I don't think the Nationals Colorado. are a for sure thing. Okay, let's go back out to Colorado, Greg. Great, great well, job right there on the walk-up. Here we go. Tapia, came uh, through. Tapia with a shot to left. And he, you know what? H, I know you're in the producer's chair, but you talked about Arenado getting walked. That didn't work out too well for the for the uh, Diamondbacks right there. But talk about how difficult it is to drive in runs. It's, it's, really, it, it's very difficult to drive in runs, and now they're driving in a lot of runs. Mm -hmm. Tony Walters with a pitch. What do you think of that swing, Greg? Yeah, they, they get production of every spot in their lineup. This team can score at home. Problem is, when they okay, go on case, the road, it's a completely take us different squad. to the score squad. and update in Toronto. All right, okay. Well, there we go. 4 nothing Rockies, top second. Well, let's go out to Toronto for an update. Very good. You're so Very smooth, good. Mr. Host. Oh, you know what? Bo Bichette. Another double. Wow, did you see where that pitch was? I know I'm the host, but did you see where that pitch was? <laughs> <laughs> Let me do that. Wow, did you see where that pitch was? <laughs> Oh my goodness, how did he get that down the Case, line? Next play, Justin Smoke. Bouchette's hitting 391 right there. Justin Smoke, what do you mm. think of that swing right there, Greg? He looks good tonight. I, I, I still can't comprehend why Justin Smoke is still with the Blue Jays. Greg, He's going to be a free Rindle agent in season's end. You're telling me a team in the mix didn't want to switch hitter with power? What? He's teaching the young guys. Teaching the young guys. Scoreboard, we're coming on camera and talking. Okay, okay, let's go. Season board. high runs for the Blue Jays. You know what I'm Jays. excited about, though, what? Sean? What? We're going to see another position player pitch. We're in the sixth You're, inning. Oh, there's no doubt. 15 we're, we're to 1. 15 to 1, guys. So, so oh, six. So, ask Greg why he's so excited about these position players why, pitching. Why are you so excited, Greg, about the position players pitching? Because I believe <laughs> that this is the future of the game. I think super oh, oh. utility is about to be redefined. We are going to see teams and front offices looking for guys that can play multiple positions and can also pitch and blow out games. That's, out of my inner That's what they're Good. looking for. Charlie nice. Culberson is a guy that can nice. legit pitch to in a blowout game. Mitch Moreland is a guy that could legit pitch in a blowout game. And you need guys like that because why are you wasting bullets of other relievers that can help you I win games? I agree, Greg. Thank That's you. Terrible analysis, but I'll tell you what. No, it was great analysis. This is a lot harder than I thought hosting. I'm not kidding. I had more, so much more respect for you. Really? <laughs> because so wait, there's you, a lot of stuff going you've on. You've actually here. tried. You've been trying? I've been, uh, I've been, let's, let's I've been live really trying. <laughs> We're going live. Go I'm going to tell things. you. Where are we I going think, live? I H? think Harold found his calling. I know. Hey, stay back there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you got a face for radio. Hey, hey, Case, you're going live. All right, here we go. Live Where out to you? Arizona. Where no, no, we're not in Arizona. We're in Colorado, guys. There you go. See, there you go. And, uh, Wanted to see if you knew. Jake Lamb. Lamb. Mm. Sinker away right there. Trevor Story, an overlooked defensive star. He is a terrific defender at shortstop. Why is that, Greg? I think because of his power. Don't tell, don't Offensively, talk to me. Talk he to gets overlooked. His defense gets overlooked. Nolan Arenado is flashier defensively Greg, you than Trevor Story. Story is just solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, you know, Nolan Arenado makes the crazy throws from foul territory. You know, the diving stops. He, he, he's got more of a defensive flair, I believe, right. than that's Trevor Story. And I think that's why people brand Story as more right of a bad, like decent glove. But he's actually gold glove level defensive. Oh, there's no doubt. Yeah. They love it. This guy they just called up, Josh Rojas, they love this guy. Had some big, big numbers in AAA. What do you Over 330. There he is, Ooh. guys. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Charlie Blackman. Welcome to the big leagues, though. Welcome to the big leagues, Mr. Rojas. Isn't that? It's 332 in the minor league. 332 with 23 score. home runs. Let's see the scoreboard right here. Time for a break. Four nothing Rockies. Now we're going to the bottom we're of the second. Talking about the guy with the mustache. And uh, we're going to go to break, I think, right here. Yeah, oh. look at this guy with the mustache. How's that go? Look at this guy with the mustache right there. And he related to Greg. Coming up, I'll break down how he got his mustache <laughs> to look like that. Off to 42.